So, Marius, at last I find you. Terio, yes. Yes, now, now I recognize you. you. I should have known you'd travel in the skies. There, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. Oh, forgive me, Tyrio, please. It, it wasn't my fault. Not your fault? Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer. Yes. It was, it was a wanderer. My days in the Rogue Citadel seemed so long ago. I sought refuge from my memories in the company of other outcasts. High in the mountains, past the Eastern Gate. of the monastery and the evil which it claimed bring memories I couldn't tell the difference anymore had the evil from my dreams followed me at my heels how had he found me here? How could this broken shell of a man, barely able to carry the weight of his own sword, be the burning terror which drove me to hide here? Yeah. He seemed to, to have demons of his own. He struggled to contain. <laughs> he was losing. convinced that I was truly bad. The terror, the destruction, the, the evil I witnessed. How else could I explain them? Were these the demons from my dream or were they born within the wonder?
did I follow him? I don't know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. And from that moment, we traveled together east. Always into the east. My companion told me of himself, that he had once been a great warrior, and that a dark and secret burden now weighed heavily upon him. We traveled for an eternity across that arid wasteland. How long ago? I couldn't say. And always, a dark cloud seemed to follow us just over the horizon. Finally, the journey ended. We climbed the last bridge. There below us lay our destination. The shining jewel looped the lane with a great sea beyond. We made camp that last night. Perhaps it was the warm desert wind or the sound of the ocean, but for the first time in many weeks, I slept. However, the dreams returned, but these were clearly not my own. I beheld the vision of a great man, the mage, Talrasha. You were there too, Tyrael. I remember seeing you in my dream. His brethren had cornered a great demon Baal, Lord of Destruction, who had been set loose upon the world. They attempted to imprison the demon within a sacred stone. Yet when their attempts failed, Talrasha selflessly volunteered to contain the demon within himself, completing the prison. He instructed his brethren to bind him The next morning, we walked over the hill toward Lutkulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me there.
realized my companion hadn't been gaining strength. He had been losing what was left of his humanity. It is you told me, Tyriel. I found the temple of the Zakarum. In the deepest recesses of the temple, I found a dark gathering. My companion, the Wanderer, Talrasha, and a great evil who could only be the Lord of Hatred himself, Mephisto. I heard a voice that, like a thousand needles in my heart. My brothers, at long last we stand reunited. The infernal has been prepared, and the time of our final victory is at hand. Let the way to hell.
stone and all is forgiven. Give it to me, Marius. Take it. Take it, take it. I'm glad this is finally over, Tyrion. Look what the stone has done to me. <laughs> You haven't failed, old man. You've done exactly as you were meant to do. However, I am not the Archangel Tyriel. There. No. No, no. <laughs> you have done well, Marius. Now I think you shall have your reward.
Bail! The gates of Sacheron have stood for eons beyond remembrance. And you shall not reach them now. Remove your foul demons from our lands. We stand on the side of light. And you shall not be allowed to reach Mount Ariat. And that which you seek will not be yours. Enough! Enough! I shall take your position into consideration. Your terms are not acceptable. <laughs> Since the first spark of creation, angels have waged the eternal conflict to defeat the forces of darkness and corruption. By the Angiris Council, 
Their unity made them an indomitable force for light and righteousness. Starcast! Oreo, Archangel of Hope. <laughs> Malfael, Archangel of Wisdom. Ethereal, Archangel of Fate. Tyriel, Archangel of Justice. Angel of Valor. forces. Hold! Victory is within our grasp! We press on, brother! lie with you alone. If you slay him, he will simply return in time. But if we imprison him... <sighs> Against his kind, there could only be blood for blood! Conflict will soon engulf the world of men. And when it does, what hope will there be when even the wrath of angels cannot be quenched? And at 
the end of days. The first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. Should be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <laughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me. Don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. At twelve, I swore the oath, leaving home and family. At sixteen, I saw my master die. I took up her shield and her name, and on that day, I became a crusader. Armored by faith, driven by duty, bound to kill the enemies of Zakarum. Sworn to live as a crusader, and to die as one. Now, corruption returns to the hearts of men. I see it in the eyes of the mad. Hear it in the howling of the damned. A falling star in the west leads me to the town of New Tristram. The crusade calls me. And so I go. must also wither and die. What dies and rots will then nourish the living. This is the great cycle of being, and we, the priests of Rathma, use our dark art to protect it. Though most do not understand us, we go where we are needed. My master has learned that a star fell in the west, drawing the dead from their graves. He commands me to journey to Tristram and return them to their rest. For if the cycle is not upheld, it would mean the end of all things. beyond imaginings, far from the jungles of my youth. 
My knowledge has grown vast. The people, they think me banished. Shunned to the end of my days. They say I defy the spirits. But I say no. I follow them. The spirits show me alone that the Skyfire is where the end begins. They say this must not be. I live to serve the spirits. So I go. There is none but me to answer the call. Since my youth, I have been told that I was special. A prodigy of vast potential. I came to the Ishari Sanctum, seeking what knowledge I could glean from the Masters. But I found them fearful of the truth. I would learn nothing from them. But the old books, the prophecies they contained, showed me all that might come to pass, and all that I might become. Then, a star fell from the heavens, the sign that my moment had come. I will go west to Tristram, to stop the darkness that the star portends, and fulfill the destiny. The gods are in all things, and everywhere I see signs of change. The wind bears an unnatural chill. My people grow uneasy. Now, fire burns the sky and scorches the vault of the heavens. I must carry out the will of the Patriarchs. When they need to see, I am their eyes. Where they wish to strike, I am their fist. When they would ignite the light of truth, I am their torch. They have sent me to where the heavenly fire has fallen. My mind is clear. I will rid Tristram of the shambling corpses that have risen in the fire's wake. was butchered by Hellspawn. To witness such a thing is enough to leave your mind in ruins. The madness killed my sister and left me frightened and alone until I was rescued. Rescued by survivors who had joined together to rid the world of the creatures of hell. They saw in me the strength to resist the demons. And they forged me into a weapon. Now I am ready. A meteor has fallen in Tristram, and the dead have risen in its wake. I will send them back to their graves. Once I was hunted, now I am the hunter. I 
wander, outcast, while my tribe curses the gods who abandoned us. Our home is in ruins, yet I stand firm. Six days ago, the falling star struck the town of Tristram. The dead rose in its wake. What evil is this? Could it be what I have sought these long years? A foe worthy of my blade? I have fulfilled my promise to Leah and rescued her uncle, Deckard Cain. Now, all that stands between me and the Fallen Star is the Skeleton King, who has returned to darken Tristram once again. For all the mysteries yet to be solved, I now learn that the Fallen Star is a man. He remembers little of himself. I will bring him to Deckard Cain. Perhaps then he will have some answers. us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. Judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother.
now that Tristram is safe, I travel to Chaldeum, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, Belial. I mean to set the city free. Chaldeum is still in peril. Before she died, Magda revealed that Belial's treachery goes even deeper than we suspected. We rescued Leah's mother, the witch, Adria. She revealed to us the existence of the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could destroy all evil forever. Of all mortals, I have been given the task of retrieving it. from Belial and his deception. Only Asmadan remains. He sends his army forth to strike at us from the heart of Eriot Crater. 
Bastion's Keep is all that stands between us and certain doom. I will not allow it to fall. I have secured Bastion's Keep, but the final battle is still waiting for me on the fields, where Asmodan's war machines are closing in. shattered, and the way to Asmodan is now open. He has brought hell itself into the crater, powering his legions with vile sin hearts. I will destroy them and bring the Lord of Sin to justice. And Leah's soul now lives in Imbuero Ikura. From her body, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. With all the powers of hell within him. The high heavens themselves tremble with his steps. And the angels can do nothing. Now hope lies with me. Only I can stop him. Diablo has crushed the will of the heavens and driven despair into the hearts of the angels. But I have restored hope to them. I have seen no sign of Tyrio in the chaos. I must go on without him and destroy Diablo's hell portals.
Diablo means to corrupt the crystal arch atop the Silver Spire. If he succeeds, the High Heavens will be lost forever. Tyriel and I go to face the Lord of Terror himself. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prying evil forever. champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. place among you once again but this time as a mortal since justice has been met this day I will now stand as wisdom on behalf of those who risked all to save us Forevermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. essence lingers in the black soul stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. service here is finished, and you should all
have started a massacre, slaying all they find. I must see it with my own eyes and learn why they have come. There are many questions, and I have little time to act. I have killed Urzael and destroyed the Reapers. The people of West March can begin to rebuild. Lorath and I now go to the Blood Marsh. Adria is there, and she knows how to find Maldiel. Once she tells me where he is, I will end her life. Thale's attempt to keep me from entering Pandemonium simply confirms that he is still unwilling to face me. Now I must cross this blighted wasteland, site of a thousand battles between Angel and Demon. The Angel of Death awaits me in the Pandemonium Fortress on the other side. He will not be waiting long. had done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a necromancer who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist or will he be our doom? Divine wisdom guides me. 
quiet. Shut up. They have our scent. Run! By three, thy way opens. Blood show. This doesn't make any sense. Blood. Blood. Blood is the key. B blood is the key! What? I need two of you! No! Go! I'll hold them! Go! It says the, the blood of the willing goes. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me! Ah, it worked! We have to help him! He's dead already. Cheer up. Gold splits better three ways instead of four. Must be hidden here somewhere. Read this. <laughs> by three they come, by three thy way opens, by the blood of them. Willing. Hail, hail the the Creator. Ha! Oh, hail the daughter of. Oh no, 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 no! What about the coin? What does it say? This is forbidden. This is a summoning. I cannot speak. This Don't way. lie to me. We came here for treasure. What is this place? I I, I don't know. <sighs> Maybe, maybe it's a temple, or, or a tomb, or... It's a gate. Protects me. The divine wisdom guides me. 
Oh, my path is all to darkness. Thy soul to thy sacred place. From the abyss, we seek thy salvation. By three they come. By three thy way opens. By the blood of the willing. We call thee home. Open your eyes. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light. There is no light here. You came to the darkness for knowledge. And all the knowledge you seek is here. Surrender. Speak the words. Call her home. By three, they come. By three, thy way opens. By the blood of the willing, we call thee home. Shameful. Our father has granted you a path to salvation. <laughs> and yet you stray from it at every opportunity. You drink and gamble. You covet and steal. Shameful.
My children. <laughs> the Lords of Hell are coming to devour our world. Salvation <laughs> lies not in the light, but in you. The faith has taught you to deny your heart's desire and turned you into a prisoner within yourself. Break the chains and discover who you were meant to be. Break the chains and be beautiful in sin. It's me. I brought your child into this world. steps and continue your preparations. Now our true work begins. I don't know if you would have chosen to stand beside me in this new world, Rathma. But I would have saved your place just the same. And now, all that you might have been has been stolen from me. to a cage. What a pity. Daughter of hatred. I have an offer. You will grant me safe passage to a place I am no longer welcome. <sighs> In exchange, I will give you freedom. And more. <laughs> Donan's progeny. <laughs> His pride and joy. Your retribution if you give me what I want. Ugh. <sighs> 
Mephisto. Diablo. Bale. Zealots and fools are completely certain, Mother. If we are to be saved, it will be by your hand. I have not come to save, but to empower. In my shadow, the strong will oppose the might of hell itself. Let the weak fend for themselves. And Daria lives. The Horadrim die. Whatever the cost. Whatever the cost. I can sense your fear, Father.
Do you remember them, Anarius? The whispers of the damned. Words will not save you. Show yourself. So, the soldier returns. And with such purpose. No longer the conflicted soul I left behind. You deceived me! <laughs> Created. Sanctuary is an abomination! And our son. I made it right. To satisfy the heavens. Tell me. Did they rejoice? No, they do not want you. I spent a lot of time learning this code, so I hope you remember how to read it, Lorath. Because you are the last Horadrim now. My mother would have wanted me to stay with you. She believed the Horadrim had all the answers. I don't know if she'd recognize this person I'm becoming. It's 
hard for me to think about her right now. But then I remember you and Donan. You weren't all-knowing, Haradrim. You were bitter. You were uncertain. But... You were always true friends. That's what I hold on to. Because there is so much further to go. Your imperfection gave me hope. And we will need it to face what comes next. To face him and his brothers. I don't know how much time I have, but there has to be a better answer. And I have to find it. Alone. I know you want to go with me. But people have already died because I was not careful enough. I can't risk you too. If I've misjudged, the world is going to need you to survive and clean up the mistakes I leave behind. I know you don't want to hear this, but you don't get to quit. Not again. Wish me well, Morath. Because if everything works out as I am hoping, we will never see each other again.